So we're going to start off by going to this directory. This is the default location for Bluebeam stamps, uh, program data, Bluebeam software, review 2016 or 17, whichever version you're on, stamps. And let's start off by making a, a stamp uh, with our signature in it. We can just pick one of these existing stamps and you can see you know the stamp is a PDF itself and you can change the size of the uh, area of the stamp so that it can fit whatever you're going to put in it. We're going to delete the existing object and I happen to have uh, a signature uh, that I scanned in that's in a PNG file um, so I'm going to use that and I'm going to go to markup and select image and I'm going to choose the image for my signature and I'm going to make it live with inside this box here and then I'm going to adjust the box so that it's just barely bigger than the size of the signature so that it's doesn't take up additional space when I go to place it on in my other PDFs. I'm going to give it a different name and that's it for signature. Now another item I may need is initials so I'm going to use this same item. I'm going to delete the signature out and say I don't have uh, you know an image file of my uh, my initials handy and I need to you know just scratch it down on a piece of paper and bring it in from a scanner. So I've already done that. I'm going to click image image from scanner and you can see I have my initials ready to go. If not I would click preview and I would kind of manipulate the scanner to to go to my initials box, but I already have that ready to go. So I'm going to scan, then I'm going to place it in. I'm going to adjust my box so that it's just barely around the size of my initials. And then I'm going to do a save as. Great, and then the next thing I need is, is a check mark, a check box, or a check mark rather. So I'm going to use this the same file. I'm going to delete my initials out of there. I'm going to hunt on to Google, or you know, if I have an image file that I like to use of a, of a check mark, I'm going to select it box to choose my check mark. see this one's quite a bit bigger. I generally choose high quality images so that uh, you know they're overkill for whatever I'm going to put them in and I, and I can always reduce down but you can never reduce up and keep quality. So I like that. So now I'm going to do a save as check mark here. And so forth and then you know with this same process we can do things like uh, you know we, we could take initials and you know we can kind of make a hybrid file. You see one's overlapping the other, so I'm going to send this one to the back so that this overlaps. And then here's a, kind of a, a checkbook, check mark, and an initials all in one 
stamp that might uh, that might be handy so we'll go, go ahead and save that 